Rise and shine, people, rise and shine, because today it's a wonderful day, the sun is up, it's freezing, but it's sunny, and at least it doesn't rain. And after a very, very cold night, which I, I don't want to imagine without an electric blanket, but even so, the air in the room is so very, very cold that I have my throat sore and I'm having a running nose, even if I'm not sick. <laughs> After such a night, we are today on a mission. We are going to Ikea, we are going to Wharton, we are going to FNAC, we are going somewhere to find something to hit this house and also to shop for other things in the house. So we have to do that until 1 p.m., which uh, is the curfew here because of the pandemic. In this weekend, we have a curfew. We have to be out of the streets until 1 p.m. So, wish us luck! And for today we also have to buy food because uh, we didn't have any, we couldn't buy last night, also because of the curfew. And I'm dying for a coffee. Let's go! Breakfast! Breakfast from Lidl. Not very healthy, but it's our first day here and we are freezing and I think we should treat ourselves with some unhealthy food, some pastries. We went first to Lidl because um, my shopping center will be open like at 10 a.m. and we felt like we should um, make something with the two hours from 8 o'clock when we left home, 8 and something, until 10 o'clock. And now we are going to mall shopping. Pit stop at Pingu Dos. We got some more food. And I want to tell you that at Pingu Dos, I get my newspaper, my English newspaper. It's uh, this newspaper, the Portugal News. And it's free in English and free. And it's uh, weekly, you can find it. And also Algarve Plus, also in English and free. So you have all kind of uh, free resources in English that you can uh, read and they are free and I'm also like that are um, paper so um, I really like to read on paper not on internet. People literally grab all the items right there and there is nothing left. So we bought this. I understand that this is good for heating actual, uh, the actual house, not yourself, the air in the house. I hope they will work. So we are back home and I wanted to show you what we bought from the supermarket. So prices for the food and also what we found and bath for heating the house. We went to two supermarkets, one is Pingu Dos, the other one is Lidl. And I'm gonna share with you all the prices and then you leave me in the comments, what do you think? It is expensive, it is not, because in my opinion, Portugal, it's pretty expensive, but let's see item by item. And we are going to start with coffee. We didn't have coffee in the house and we bought plenty. So we have a um, um, coffee machine from Pingu Dos. So we have to buy also those from Pingu Dos also. This yellow one is with Arabic coffee, more, 70% Arabic coffee. And this one is 100% Robusta. One of these who has 16 capsules is 365 euros and we bought plenty, so a lot of money for the coffee. 
Then we bought some soup because uh, we like soup and Pingu Dos makes a very nice soup. So this is the soup. I think they use pretty good products. I don't know how healthy it is, but it's, it tastes good. And this soup cost $2.49 and we just heat it up in the microwave. It says that it's made daily and with the ingredientes frescos, with fresh ingredients, I hope. <laughs> so the soup, $2.49. Bread, we like to buy this bread which is also made daily and this was, I don't know, three pieces three pieces is like 0 0.72 cents we bought also this bread polo de caco, three pieces, three, four pieces and in total 2.36 so one piece is 0 0.59. We bought a lot of cheese also because we are using a lot of cheese. And my favorite from Pingu Dos is this one. Burrata. And it's a pretty good one. I mean, really much better than a lot of them, even if it's their uh, label, Pingu Dos. And one of these is 1.79, so we bought two. This kind of cheese we eat and this piece here it's 313 euros and also this one 326 a lot of cheese I think it would last us like two weeks one week two weeks something like that and the majority of money from Pingu Dos went on booze <laughs> I bought myself um, some rum I got it on sale with this coca-cola but we don't uh, drink coca-cola but uh, because it was like uh, this on offer we got the rum cheaper so this this Bacardi spiced rum the rum with spices costs $14.99 this rum should go in the tea because I'm very cold and one of the remedies is to make myself hot tea. I um, also made myself one right now to enjoy while I film this video because it's very, very cold inside. The other um, alcohol that I bought is gin. So I like gin. I know that gin is, a, is more appropriate to drink in the summer, but I really, really like it. And so I bought myself this kind of gin. And it says here that it's gin with blackberry and raspberry infusion. I thought it would be interesting to try something like that. And this was $24.99. I never buy alcohol. All the alcohol I have in Romania at home, I receive from the clients. And this is kind of like, I think the first time when, when I bought for myself alcohol and not to gift someone else so I don't know if it's expensive I really don't know to compare it with, with prices in uh, my home country but uh, maybe you'll read it in the comments and you'll tell me if you think the alcohol is cheap or expensive in Portugal because alcohol is really a luxury item you don't need alcohol I really have to drink this tea because it's very very cold in the house and this really really helps to, to drink uh, hot hot tea. Sensodyne is the toothpaste that we use because I have sensitive teeth and some problems with uh, my teeth and this is the, the only toothpaste that I, um, I like. And this really really works i mean i have very sensitive teeth and if i don't brush with this for one day or two days i immediately feel if i brush with this i can drink this very very hot and of course i can eat also ice cream if i'm not brushing my teeth with this i cannot do these things i don't know about other labels maybe other labels are good but for me this is the only one who works and this is it. Let's play a game. Do you want to guess uh, the total amount? If you want to guess, press stop, guess, and then press play. And I'm sure you'll have a surprise. The total amount is 86 
85. It's 86 at 85 because Bingo Dos had a promotion and if you bought more than 50 euros you would have received a discount of 10 euros. So in reality all these items cost 99.72 and with reduction we received a reduction of 12.87. It's a total that we paid of 86.85. Let's see what we bought from Lidl, because there we bought a little more. From Lidl we bought uh, a lot more things, because from Lidl we bought our vegetables. So we bought this pear. I love pears. 1.69 and there are two, four pieces. Also from Lidl we bought the water. We like this one, Pedras. This has the closest taste from what we are used to drink. This is mineral fizzy water, so it's with bubbles. We got it on sale. Usually four bottles are uh, around uh, five and something euros. And now we got it on sale and four bottles are 2.89. We took four boxes, like four, four, 16, bottles and we paid 11.56 euros. This is the one that I uh, was mentioning in my video, five crazy expensive things in Portugal and the fact that we are always hunting this water to be on reduction because it's nearly half the price from five something to 2.89. Also from here we bought some meat, bife de novillo, which means beef steak. I thought it, it looks good and this was also on a little bit of reduction and we paid for that 3.99 and it's 400 grams of meat and it's already cut out there are like three steaks also I found uh, these Delux is a luxury brand of Lidl and in Romania we have uh, Delux only on holidays so on Christmas or other holidays and if you don't go in the first day to buy Deluxe products they are all sold out. So here I guess uh, they are not so crazy about these products and I found them probably remaining from Christmas. And I uh, we bought this Paleta de Porco Bizarro. It's not very healthy but uh, we like it very much, we like the taste and we bought it. 3 dollars for 19 grams and we bought four, four of these because this is like what we're trying to eat when we want to eat something unhealthy we make a sandwich with that and in the rest in the meantime we try to eat as much vegetables as possible and meat that we cook ourselves we bought these chocolates i like the taste it's also something they sold only at lidl it's their their brand and it has 70% cacao. Anyway, I, I like this and this was um, 159 and we only eat one little piece because it's very it's it's not very tasty because it doesn't have sugar so when we need to eat something sweet we eat that we eat only a piece and that's it. Eggs because omelets in the morning these kind of eggs six Six of us, 1.99 for six eggs. And also we like to eat from Lidl a lot of things like that. So a lot of frutos secos, these kind of things. And I love the quality at Lidl. I think they are a lot cheaper at Lidl. You see the package is a lot, uh, a lot bigger. They are a lot cheaper at, at Lidl than at Pinkudos. One, one of these is 2 dollars $1.79. Also, when we want to eat something sweet, we are trying to eat this, even if uh, you get fat from that, uh, at least you are eating something healthy. The next item is arroz. We are trying to cook as much as we can at home. And this is black rice and also a deluxe product. And I like I like this, I have eaten this before and I like the taste and this was 179. It's 500 grams and we eat like, I don't know, maybe three times, two times, three times, 
three three days in a row from that two persons because we are trying to, to eat uh, a little bit of that, not very much. Two oranges, because we are not making juice, we are eating them. Two oranges was 0.76. Tomatoes, these two, four, five tomatoes, we are eating this like in two, two or three days. Two persons, 151, one euro 59. Some pepinos, which are bell peppers also for two or three days 273 euros is like uh, one kilo so we bought a lot they are very big and yeah 273 tagliatelle some pastas i like also this is from the looks porcini mushrooms and i like the taste 199 salt not any kind of salt 169 a little pricey <laughs> some uh, apples granny smith two four apples and four apples was 153 euros also asparagus which uh, asparagus it's kind of pricey i like the the quality of asparagus here here so this quantity here like we eat this like in a meal, barely for two persons, and this is 249. The last product, kefir, this one, like that. One of these is 099, and we bought three of these. Also because we can eat that in the car. So we often do that, we take one of these in the morning and we eat it in the car on the go. And I think that's it. Do you want to play that game again? So press pause and guess how much everything cost. Did you guess it? Okay, so we paid for all of this, including the water. Don't forget the water. 72.74. Here, the most expensive products were the water. 16 bottles of water, of fizzy water, 11.56. And also this, because we, we took a lot of this. This was 15.96 for packages. So yes, from the, that total, we had that large expense. But anyway, all of that was 72.74. And from Vorton, we bought this. We bought two of these and we are hoping to hit the air. I uh, read and I understood that this is the proper way to do it. <laughs> to buy one of these with oil it runs with oil and let's see i hope uh, this evening it's going to be a little bit nicer in the house also from the way people were effectively fighting over them in the store i think everybody thinks that this is the proper way to heat the house this was 89.99 it also has this thing here so you can put your pajamas <laughs> or your socks or uh, maybe your towels and they heat up and they dry i think it's a handy attachment so if you are from Portugal, please leave it in the comments how you heat your house. I know a lot of you heat your house with pellets. For us, it's not really an option. We need something more simple. We need something just to plug it in. Also, we are going to get for him a special device and we are making it programmable so we can control it from the distance. So the house can heat up also when we are not at home, but in the same time to run only in the hours when we want it to run. Other than that, we saw a lot of things and people were buying any, every kind of sorts of devices to heat the house from the most uh, expensive to the most uh, non-expensive items. So yeah, people are pretty desperate here to heat up the houses because I think they were expecting this thing, this storm, this ice storm to last for one week but this is kind of like the second week and I think we have one more week to go and it is it's getting pretty pretty cold and pretty 
long time to be cold in Portugal. People are not used to it. And this is all that we bought for today. In the coming days, we are going to hit the shops pretty hard because we have a lot of things to do in the house and a lot of things to put right. Especially this couch, we have to change the couches and I think I found a store where they uh, they sell something that uh, that I want. It has to be something really big to be for two persons and also to have uh, like a chaise long here to, to stay when we are watching the movies and I'm also working, I'm used to working on the couch so the couch is very important to me but I think I found just the shop and of course not to cost a fortune. We went today to Ikea and to take a look. The couches are very very small, I don't know, like midgets are using the Ikea couches, we need something bigger than that. I don't want to buy online because you see, you know, the picture is in one way, the material when the couch arrives is in another way. I need to sit down on the couch and see it, uh, it is what I want it to be in terms of uh, material, height, depth, because the depth is also always important, you know, it has to be pretty, pretty particular. I know exactly what I want. <laughs> Please subscribe and like the video and tag along for the ride because we have a lot more to buy and a lot of shops to visit and a lot of things to do in the house. I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!